What's up everybody? I am Coach Carr. As you can see, I am here at our brand new playground area. Um, this is an awesome thing and we're very fortunate to have it. And I just wanted to spend this time to go over some of the rules and procedures that we're going to have to follow to make sure that this thing stays as nice and as perfect as it is right now. A couple of the things that we can do to ensure that this playground stays in excellent condition is to make sure that we do not bring food or open drink containers onto here. We don't want to make, we don't want to spill things, have stains, and mess up some of the spots that we have. So I'm going to ask that all the food stays under the shade structure when you're eating. Something else that we have to make sure when we are using this playground is we do not bring any indoor school supplies out onto the playground. So by those types of things, I'm talking about pencils, pens, scissors, backpacks, anything that we can have that is going to damage the nice new ground that we have here or uh, that can be used to write on some of the nice stuff we have. We want to keep it nice so we're not going to bring our school supplies out here. Next I want to talk about some of our safety procedures that we need to keep in mind when we are using this area. Um, one of the main ones that I want to focus on is keeping your hands and feet to yourselves. We have a lot of areas where we can kind of hang off of things like the monkey bars and slide down the sides and if you are being pushed or moved by somebody else, it is not safe. So we want to stay away from that. Uh, something else that we can keep in mind is we don't want to be running and playing tag on here. Uh, the reason being is this is a smaller space that's going to have a lot of people. So if we're running in areas, we might bump into somebody. There's a lot of hard objects around here, aluminum, you know, definitely things that would hurt to hit, so we want to avoid that. Um, and then finally, keep your shoes on. I know you're going to want to take them off and run around on here, but we do not do that. You have to keep your shoes on. Also, a lot of spaces here where your toes can kind of get stuck or stepped on, and we just want to limit any kind of injury that we can. One of the main areas where a lot of people are going to want to play here is our slides. We have two slides on this playground. The main point I want to emphasize to you guys is that the slide is for sliding down. We do not climb up on them. We do not go head first down the slide. If there is a line at the side, let's make sure that we wait in it and we wait for our turn. Um, and when you go down, you're going down safely. It should look something like this when you go down the slide. On our new playground, we have several different what I'll call climbing structures. Um, this is an example of one of those. The main point that I want to emphasize with our climbing structures is that we are doing one at a time on these. And you have to be aware of your surroundings when you are using them. People may be going up or down this, um, and if you are going down, make sure there is nobody at the bottom where you are going. So check your surroundings before you use it, and do one at a time. This is how you would do this one. Here is an example of another one of our climbing structures we have on the new playground. The main point that we have to focus on here is again, one at a time on this. This is not a large area, so let's try to keep it one at a time. And another very important point is there is no sitting or standing or lingering at the top. You climb up it and then you climb back down. We don't want to have any injuries up here. This is another one of our climbing areas on the new playground. Some of the main points we want to focus on here is again, one at a time. That goes for this side and this side. Two on one side, you can have your fingers stepped on, and that would be no fun for anybody. Um, and another thing with this is we want to make sure we are keeping our head above our feet, meaning we are not going to put our legs here and dangle upside down. We're not bats, we're people, so let's try to make sure we are staying upright. This is another one of our new climbing structures here on the Fairmount Playground. The point of emphasis that I would like to make for this one is you may have one or two or three people on this, but what we cannot do is stand on the top level and hang over this bar. We want to make sure that we are not on our feet hanging over this. That can be very unsafe. We can fall. Um, so let's just make sure we are not standing up here. Another one of our areas of interest on this new playground is going to be our several sets of monkey bars. We have four on this playground. Some of the main points that we need to focus on is, again, one at a time on the monkey bars. Another thing that we want to make sure we are doing 
is we are staying again with our head above our feet. That means we are not hanging upside down over the monkey bars. You could fall down and it would not be good. Uh, finally, we need to emphasize that we keep our hands and feet to ourselves. If you are using these and somebody pushes you or somebody bumps into you, that's where accidents can happen. So let's make sure we are keeping respect of other people's distance. Finally, one of the last things we need to worry about when using the new playground is to keep in mind to respect the rails. Uh, there are several rails that are going to be around this. Any sort of pole, they'll be blue, they'll be gray. We need to not hang over them and we need to not step over them. And we absolutely do not jump over them. This is an area where there's kind of a blind spot under here. You should never jump off of it anyways, but you might land on somebody and that would be absolutely no good. Something else too is this is an area where people are going to be walking back and forth. So let's make our best effort to not sit down or hang out too uh, still at one location. Let's make sure that we are constantly moving and giving everybody an opportunity to use all the spots, but absolutely no jumping or hanging over the rails. So now that you know all of the rules for our new playground, we want to make sure that you have fun 